Hello, Charlie and Lee. I'm over here at the 9500 South property on the west side. Gonna do the exterior first because there's kind of a lot to take in and then I'll do an interior. Um, so anyways, you're down the end of this road you drove by so you know. They have started right here or completed a driveway back to the back parcel. I did not realize this is two parcels. Also two parcels with no CCNRs. So house, driveway, this little stub goes to a person has a cabin there on a built lot. They only use it as a getaway. So while that could be built more intensively someday, it isn't now. Uh, well pump house just over here. So we'll come up the driveway. Um, we haven't talked much about this home. It's a really coveted part of the valley, part of why you're probably thinking this price is high, but when we talk about two separately deeded parcels, plus no CCNRs, plus in the southwest corner of the valley, you come up to a big number. Um, anyways, big garage, nice and clean. Everything's in good shape. Um, clearly you have, they put some plywood so you can store stuff up above. You can access with this ladder here. But a nice big two car garage, mostly detached from the home, but there is sort of a breezeway. Come through, there's looking at the, it's not a breezeway, it's a walkway, sorry. come back around but since I came this way got this nice extra parking on the side for toys drift boats etc that's back out towards my truck big tree here in the back so right out here, this fence post corner uh, shows the basically the one acre parcel. Um, then the one and a half continues off and down into the woods, about a third of the one and a half is in the woods. So a really desirable parcel that comes with this deal. Come down to this corner. So this is the parcel that just has the cabin off in the distance there, not intensively built. So you've got a wonderful parcel to your west. And then included with this is an acre and a half that begins right here and extends down into the woods. I'll show you the aerial photo of that. So a big carrot on this listing. And that separately deeded parcel could be sold, could be built, could be kept. Um, so offers a lot of versatility. Here's one of the sheds. She plows her own driveway with these two snow blowers on the left. But, you know, for utilities and things, it's in good shape. I guess these are a couple of retired doctors out of Blackfoot who use this as a getaway. Then you have just another basic shed so we go quite a ways over to get to the end of that driveway that they built back to the main street ends right there takes you to the one and a half acre parcel but let's keep going around here got some nice I don't know, raspberry bushes here, a bunch of them, pretty cool. Three rows, or two and a half rows. Uh, the home appears to be in good condition. They do have a new roof on here, which is another carrot. Over here they've just left some sort of grasses for privacy. 
super desirable spot surrounded by aspen trees just really cool in here there's your east side of the home here's the driveway that they completed back to the one and a half acres so that extends all the way back significant cost in installing that as well couple of huge trees here off the southeast corner of the home. They did pump and inspect the septic already as well. Oh my god, two more huge trees out here. They look smaller in the video than they are in reality. The stain on the home looks mostly good. You know, a couple little spots I saw maybe not perfect, but it's overall in great shape. Wonderful wraparound porch. Sorry, that's the listing broker there, and she's on a call. But you've got this fantastic wraparound porch. This one looking south. And then one looking east. And this one you can't see in the smoke. Does have mountain views, sunrise views to the east. Just a little smoky today. We've been clear, but just a quick look back to the backyard and the other lot in the distance. we'll continue on didn't mean to go this way but we'll just do it there's your well right there these are larger parcels on the other side of the fence so you're not going to have a bunch of homes coming in there and that takes us back to the beginning and we'll go on in and do an interior.